Typically when two magnets are brought close together, they either attract or repel each other due to interactions between their magnetic fields. In a new study, researchers have designed a 3D magnetic invisibility cloak, inside of which they placed a magnetic object, and showed that the cloaked magnet is no longer affected by nearby magnetic fields. It appears as if the cloaked magnet has become demagnetized, but in reality the magnet is simply hidden. The researchers, led by Yung Ma at Zhejiang University in Hangzhou, China, have published a paper titled Three-Dimensional Magnetic Cloak Working from DC to 250 kHz in a recent issue of Nature Communications. Like other invisibility cloaks, the new cloak is made of metamaterials, man-made materials with repeating patterns, and works by manipulating electromagnetic waves in unusual ways. To achieve the cloaking effect, the researchers used a new type of invisibility cloak called a bilayer cloak, first demonstrated in 2012 by Alvaro Sanchez and colleagues at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. The cloak has a spherical structure consisting of two shells, a superconducting inner shell, made of single crystal YBCO, and a ferromagnetic outer shell, made of a nickel-zinc composite. These two materials have opposite magnetic behaviors, which causes them to have opposite effects on an external magnetic field, the inner YBCO shell expels the magnetic field, while the outer nickel-zinc shell concentrates it. By carefully machining, etching, fine-tuning, and combining these materials, the researchers were able to completely cancel out the opposing effects, inducing the magnetic transparency effect. The magnetic invisibility cloak could have applications in biological experiments and magnetically sensitive equipment, as it could protect living organisms and other objects from magnetic fields while allowing the magnetic fields to pass undistorted around the objects. It could also be used as an antiprobe technology to allow magnetic or metallic objects to pass through metal detectors without setting them off.